12.50 p.m. Thank you. I'll be the kitchen and I'll say, oh, let me see what a call, a call, please. So I'm calling you to say hello. And I she you to go take the COVID shot. I know my people say they ain't going to take them. They don't take them. They ain't going to take them. But anyway, I'm doing okay. I'm doing okay. And call me sometimes. Not so anyway, I'm going to say bye. I'll call you another time. Have a nice day. Bye bye. To replay, press 4. To erase, press 7. She called me because Wendy Williams' mama has died. That's why she called. Shall we call her back? Let's see when did she call me? Oh, that was way earlier today. <laughs> Sha. She called me sleeping. Well, y'all, Wendy's mom uh, passed away. Um, let's see if there's any new information on it. Okay, it says, Wendy Williams' mother, Shirley Williams, has died. And this is from Madame Noir. So, it says, um, Wendy Williams' mother, Shirley Williams, has passed away. A journalist named Courtney Brown, who said her grandmother and Williams were best friends for 83 years, reviewed, revealed the news on social media. One of my granny's best friends for 83 years passed away, Mrs. Shirley Williams, always available for my granny and our family. She flew in to share this beautiful speech at granny's 100th birthday. Mr. and Mrs. Williams are truly what kids now call couple goals. May she rest peacefully in prayers to Wendy and the entire family. Williams has not said anything about her mother's death publicly. Her cause of death has not been released, nor have any details regarding her passing. Um, Shirley Skinner Williams was a learning disabilities resource specialist at the Bradley School 
in Ashbury Park, New Jersey, during her career as a teacher. She raised Wendy Williams and her two siblings, Wanda and Thomas, in Ocean Township, New Jersey, after arriving there in 1959. According to an article in the Ashbury Park Press, Williams was a civic leader and served in community organizations like the Monmouth County Council of Girl Scouts and the Central Jersey Club of the National Association of Negro Business and Professional Women's Clubs, Incorporated. She was also a member of the historically black sorority, Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority, Incorporated. Uh, it says, besides her children, she leaves behind her husband, Thomas Williams, Jr. If you're a fan of the show, you know Williams and her mother were incredibly close, and she has also filled in as a co-host before and appeared on Williams' after show. Uh, before the pandemic, you could catch her parents sitting in the front row of the Wendy Williams show while visiting from their Miami home. Williams always speaks delightfully and sweetly about her phone conversations with her mother as well on the show. We send our condolences to Williams and her family. So that's, that's uh, all that they're saying about it. She was 83. So, let's see what Love B. Scott has to say. Wendy Williams' mother, Shirley Williams, has reportedly passed away. Prayers go out to Wendy Williams. Okay. The Neighborhood Talk says, let's keep Wendy in our prayers. Um, let's see. The story is developing. So I wonder if the Wendy show is um, what are they going to do? Well, hold on, y'all. Hold on. Okay, Psalm 23 says, The Lord is my shepherd. I shall lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right path for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Do not let your hearts be troubled. You believe in God. Believe also in me. My father's house has many rooms. If that were not so, would I have told you that I am going there to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you to be with me, that you also may be where I, where I am. Okay, that was John 14, 1 through 3. Okay. 
the Colonies for Amen. Thank you, Lord. Romans 6, 4 says, We therefore are buried with him through baptism into death in order that just as Christ was raised from the dead through the glory of the Father, we too may, have, may live a new life. And now let's pray for Miss Shirley. Oh God, whose mercies cannot be numbered, accept our prayers on behalf of thy servant, Shirley Williams, and grant her an entrance into the land of light and joy in the fellowship of thy saints through Jesus Christ, thy son, our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Incline thine ear, O Lord unto our prayers, wherein we humbly pray thee to show thy mercy upon the soul of thy servant, Shirley Williams, whom thou hast commanded to pass out of this world, that thou wouldest place her in the region of peace and light, and bid her to be a partaker with thy saints. Through Christ our Lord, amen. I feel that it's only um, it's only right for me to pray for those who have passed because of um, police brutality, racism, and COVID. And so, if you just a little longer, if you will, just pray with me. Okay. 2020 has been quite a year. It's been quite a year. You know, before COVID hit, I went to church. I went to church and I stopped at a beauty supply. And that's when the word came that Kobe and Gigi had passed with those other people in the helicopter crash. And it's been very trying from that moment. You know, and COVID hit, then so much has happened. So anyway, If you don't mind, pray with me. Okay? (sighs) 
May Christ, who rose from the dead, our true God, moved by the intercession of his spotless mother and of all the saints, place the soul of his departed servants in the tabernacles of the just. May he lay them to rest in the bosom of Abraham, numbering them among the just. And may who and may he who is both good and kind have mercy upon us all. Amen. Y'all, that's all I can do. <sighs> okay? It makes me very, very sad. And I'm so sorry. For um, all the families, this holiday season is very tough. Just like Joe Biden was saying, that empty chair and especially when you know Miss Shirley, she was up in age and she lived a very full life. And she was a very lively lady. And, um, but when you think about all the people who died from COVID and, you know, Kobe and Gigi and those people that were with them that died, it seems to be that these were unnecessary deaths that could have been saved, you know. But through the carelessness of those who had the power to do what they were supposed to do, just didn't do it. And that's why I really have a lot of contempt for this administration because they could have done something to spare a whole lot of people, you know, but they're all right. They're all right. And the rest of us, for what we have to go through, we have to go on. We have to go on. We have to go on. So, get your comedies out. Listen to your Bill Burr and your Dave Chappelle and your Kevin Hart and Tiffany Haddish. And laugh a little bit. We don't cry a little bit, but it's all right. It's all right. It's all right to feel sad. And to feel sorrowful. But we gotta we have to know that we have to keep our faith and we're gonna go home. Okay? We're gonna go we're gonna go right on. As they would all want us to. Okay. So let's just say the Lord's Prayer, y'all, if you would with me. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Through Jesus Christ we pray. Amen. <laughs> I want to sing a little bit, just a little bit. I love the Lord, yes I do. I love the Lord, yes I do. And Jesus loves us too. Keep the faith, y'all. See y'all in the next video.